I want to talk to you a little bit about different types of knitting needles. When you started, you may have only ever seen straight needles. I know that when I returned to knitting as an adult, I discovered very quickly that there was a whole variety of different types of needles, each one that is most suitable for different types of knitting. Come on in and I can show you how you can use all of the different ones and what they each look like, plus helping you pick which one is best for which project. There are a huge variety of styles of knitting needles and they all work well for different types of projects, but they can be interchanged. Now, if you're coming back to knitting after a break, you may be a little overwhelmed because in all likelihood, you probably just started off with some straight needles. And then when you see this big variety of needle types, it can be a bit daunting. So I want to give you an overview and explain what ones can be used interchangeably and where each one is going to come into its own. So we'll start just by describing them. We've got your straight needles, which are pretty much as they are described. They're just straight, no bend. There's a little knob at the end so your stitches don't fall off. They come in a variety of thicknesses and in a variety of lengths. So that is object number one. Next one here are going to be different types of interchangeable needles. So the two we have here, well, circular needles, you've got, these are all circular, which means that you've got the actual working needle on the top here, which will be either metal or wood of some sort, sometimes a composite. Different lengths, sometimes they are for very, very small needles. These tend to be shorter. For bigger needle lengths, longer needle lengths, they can be a bit longer because they give you a bit more to work with. They're going to be different dimensions, which will give you different stitch sizes. So these are just fixed ones because nothing comes off. They're just, you decide how long the cord is going to be. So when you measure it, it will, the length will be from the tip of this to the tip of this. That's your length. And the circumference will give you the stitch size. So for instance, these ones here are six millimeter, which is the circumference. And looking at the length, I'm going to say they're probably 24 inches, which would be 60 centimeters long. So that is going to be good for smaller items, nothing too big. It's not going to be quite enough for a large sweater, for instance, because generally for sweaters, adult sweaters, you'd be looking at 80 centimeters or 32 inches long would be the minimum length you're looking for. So these are the fixed ones. Over here, these are a variety that once you start knitting, you'll probably end up using these quite a bit. So these are called interchangeable circular needles. So what that means is the tips come off on both ends and you can either buy them in sets or individually. So you will pick the size of the needle tip that you want so you'll, and the type of um, material you want it to be made from. So you have two different ones here. You've got a bamboo one and you've got a metal one. So you'd get, pick the size of the tip you want and then you'd pick the length of the cord. So what that means is if you're working on a project and it starts out small and it gets bigger, you can change from a short cord like this to a longer cord like one of these. So it means that you can match each part of your of your project together very easily. Now, circular needles, or whether they're interchangeable or if you can remove the tops, they can either be joined in the round like this to work in the round, or you can actually work flat back and forth in rows. So you can treat them like a straight needle where you'll knit all the stitches along here. When you reach the end, they're all over here. You turn them around and then you can work on that side. And what it means is, all of your actual knitting will rest on here so it rests on your lap but you can still use these the very same as a straight needle so that makes circular needles a lot more flexible than straight needles you can only knit stray things on straight needles and you are going to be a little confined by the length so if you're trying to make something that's very large and all you've got is a needle length this size you're going to get a bit caught because you're going to have to really squish your knitting up. So circular needles, you can actually get much longer needle cords than this. And some of them will even have connectors where you can connect a few different lengths together and make a much longer one. So 
circular needles with interchangeable tips are going to give you the most flexibility. The other type of needle that we haven't looked at yet are these ones over here. These are known as double pointed needles for a pretty obvious reason. And they're going to usually come in sets of four or five. They're going to, you can use them for small circular knitting or for just very tiny little projects. But the way you do it is you will take four of them and you would divide your knitting as you're knitting in a circle, you put a quarter of it on each side and then you'll get one extra needle here. And as you work along, you'll knit on these and then that one will be gone. The stitches will be here. Then you'll knit across here those will be gone, they'll be on here. And so you'll always have one extra stitch and those will approximate a circle by just having it divided around like that. One other way of knitting in the round are these little, what I kind of call shorties, or there's sometimes they're called flyers or there's just different names for these. They're similar to a double pointed needle, but with the difference that there's a very short, flexible cord in the middle. They usually come in sets of three. So instead of having two like this, you'll just have one here. And then your second one will work like this. And then the third one, you will work the very same as your double pointed needles working around. So these are, I suppose, the biggest variety of needle types that you can get. You may never need to use double pointed needles because you can actually also use a technique called magic loop where you can use a longer circular needle to work a small circumference. Straight needles, you may have started with if you learned to knit when you were younger or you've got an older set that you inherited. These are great for anything that you're working flat, but you could get confined in terms of length and it won't allow you to join in the round. Circular needles with a fixed length, are they work perfectly well, but you can possibly get caught because the length of the cord may not match your project type. So the most flexible is going to be your interchangeable sets where you can change the needle tip and size and you can change the cord length to suit your project. So you really get the most variety out of this type of set. And you can either buy it in a full set or you can build it up as you go along, just getting the tips that you use most often and a couple of different cord lengths that you know you're going to use. But hopefully this overview can, will help you in deciding what needle type you should start with.